I'll cut him in a minute if I have to. I'm just saying. I signed on to play Ben Warren like five, six, maybe even more years ago, but I was always a recurring character on the show. It was supposed to be just a few episodes as a love interest for Bailey. And I did a pilot for Shonda, and then she put me on another series, and then I did another series for ABC, and the whole time it was kind of like trying to date that person in high school, that every time you were free, they weren't, and every time they were single, you weren't. It was like, it was that game for a long time, and things just finally lined up just right. And so this was the first season I was able to sign on as a regular. We tried it once or twice before, like I said, and uh, I had no idea what to expect. I had no idea what to expect when I finally signed on as a regular. Uh, and. For a while, you know, and it's a big cast, so it's like sometimes it's like there's not much going on for anybody, and then when the rotation comes around and gives you something, you gotta be ready. And something happened, you know, some other stuff happened early in the season. I was like, cool, cool. And then in the Taylor the season, they said, yeah, so um, you're gonna kill a woman and her baby, and you're gonna get suspended. And I was like, what? What? Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. First question. Do I need to be looking for a job? Does a brother need to be looking for? I mean, let me know. Just let me know where I'm sitting. Was, it's cool. I'm just. And they're like, no, no, it's not that easy. Which basically, you know, when you get handed this kind of a big story, it's like your first question as an actor is, this goes one of two ways. Either you give me the juicy stuff that is gonna run for a minute and I get to enjoy it as an actor, or I'm out of here, I need to be looking for a job. So as soon as she said, no, it's not that easy, I knew I was gonna have a good time. So uh, the whole second half of the season has been just a blast for me. Ben and I are similar in a lot of ways, uh, in that he, uh, he can't stand by and do nothing. Uh, he was an anesthesiologist for years. He's been a doctor for a long time. And so, you know, and he was just basically just rolling out with his bags of cash. You know, he shows up, he knocks them out, makes sure they don't die, wakes them back up, beep, click a check, roll. Uh, but he got inspired and wanted to go back and be a surgeon and really try and be a part of what saved somebody's life. Uh, and that, that woke a part of him. You know, he woke a part of him up and he's not gone. So it's not that he's rogue. It's not like he's just going rogue every chance he gets. It's that, you know, he knows the rules say that this is a bad place to perform surgery. I get that. I can't get to a good place. I can't get to a doctor. If I can, you know, and the rules say that I'll get in trouble if I do this. If the choice is break the rules, have a shot at saving the life, but definitely get in trouble, or follow the rules and the person definitely dies, all right, y'all gonna have to yell at me then. I'm, I'm gonna take the shot. The person may die, but they were definitely going to die the other way. That's how Ben sees it. And so, you know, Ben and I are similar in that I can't really sit by. I got to stick my nose. If I see something going, you know, I've gotten in fights with dudes over, there was one time years and years ago. I didn't even know the woman. He was just getting, he was just getting a little physical with his woman. Uh, and I had to go have conversation and ultimately we had to lay hands on, you know. And I don't know you, but I know you can't treat people like that, you know. So I, I have a tendency to, I've been known to, you know, get my little action Jackson on and do whatever. <laughs>